what's the best way to get vitamin D in your system? Uh, this is a really important topic because so many of us are vitamin D deficient, including me. That's right. And vitamin D does a lot of important things in our body. Uh, it helps with calcium absorption. It helps keep our bones strong. It, it deals with the immune system. It lowers inflammation. And many organs in our body have vitamin D receptors, which means that vitamin D kind of is involved in a lot of stuff here, okay? But there are different ways we can get vitamin D in our system. And the question is, what are some of the best ways? I'm going to tell you that today. Um, guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I'm a practicing family physician and on-air health expert and video creator. Let's start with, um, well, actually, okay, for, I'm going to give you a little preview of what we're going to talk about today. I know, I know. Uh, but let me start with the one that many of us probably know about, which is the sun. Now, you all probably know that you can get vitamin D from sunlight. That's right, UV light um, is, is, is a way to get vitamin D. But the question is, should you get vitamin D via the sun? Um, guys, the answer is no. I mean, look, let me put it this way. You're going to get some vitamin D from the sun just in your normal everyday activities, but I don't want you going out into the sun and exposing yourself to UV rays to get vitamin D. That is not what we want. And the reason why we don't want that is because we know that UV rays and UV exposure is a risk factor for skin cancer. We also know that it causes premature aging and who wants to look old, uh, older than you really are. Uh, but the big one here, of course, is skin cancer. So, so first of all, first and foremost, yes, while you're out and about doing your normal things and we want you to wear sunscreen and, and stay protected, stay out of the hot sun and do all that good stuff. Um, yes, while we know that you get vitamin D from the sun that is not how we want you to get it okay do not go out into the sun for vitamin d because it increases your risk of skin cancer am i clear i'm clear okay now let's go back to this now i know you guys were like what's she holding up some eggs for so well there are a lot of amazing foods where you can get vitamin d from so we're going to talk about those first of all um egg yolks who knew it now egg yolks also have a lot of cholesterol so you got to weigh the the pros and cons and what you need from a nutrition standpoint but egg yolks can do it. They got vitamin D in it. That's right. Not only that, but fatty fish. Okay. Um, this just came out of my freezer. It's some salmon. Literally, like you can see like the ice in here. I don't know how long it's been in my freezer or whatever. Um, salmon. So it's not just salmon though. Fatty fish has good amounts of vitamin D. That's right. So fatty fish are things like, um, let's see here, trout, salmon, mackerel, tuna, um, lots of good vitamin D in fatty fish. Really important to know. Also, beef liver. I don't know that I've actually ever had beef liver, to be honest with you. But if you're a fan of beef liver, well, you're getting some vitamin D. Also, cheese and mushrooms have a little bit as well. And then, of course, we've got a lot of foods on the market that are fortified with vitamin D. That means that um, vitamin D has been sort of boosted, added, etc., to give them some vitamin D. Um, that is milk. You know, if you've gone to the grocery store and you say you see milk and it's fortified with vitamin D, there you go. It's some vitamin D. Also, cereals. Some of the breakfast cereals and things that we eat are fortified with vitamin D. And then also also, things like soy, almond, and oat milk um, are often vitamin D fortified as well. So guys, these are some natural ways to get vitamin D in your system. Of course, you want to use this information in, in part of your whole nutritional sort of regimen and what you need uh, personally. You guys are probably going to ask, how much vitamin D do I need? Well, that depends on you, right? So we think that and we know that um, nutritional requirements of vitamin D differs based on your age, your uh, your gender, all lots of stuff. So talk to your doctor about how much you should be getting getting in but know that things like fatty fish okay and things like eggs and cheese and mushrooms and beef liver among other things and fortified cereals etc will give you some vitamin d also i would say the last way to get vitamin d of course is through supplements which if you have a deficiency in vitamin d your doctor may recommend or prescribe supplements for you to take um Make sure you check with your doctor about how much vitamin D you need. If you're deficient, by the way, that's a lab we can check. Don't necessarily go out and ask your doctor to check that lab because we don't always just check it just because. Um, we often check it if there is a reason to check it. So just understand, but know that you can uh, get that lab checked. Also understand when it comes to supplements, you know, I always got to say this about supplements, it is possible to overdose on supplements. I actually had a patient take too much vitamin D and she had toxic levels of vitamin D in her system. That is not what we want. So you got to talk to your doctor about any supplements you plan to take. But remember the foods I talked about because good stuff right here. Okay. All right. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I do daily videos on lots of stuff. If you have not subscribed to my channel and click the little bell for updates, please do. I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.